There was a time when you was right to come for me, Senor Macho. But this time, no. Do not arrest me. You make one move and I kill you. Life and Legend of Wyatt Earp, starring Hugh O'Brien. For the most part, law enforcement in the West was pretty open and uncomplicated. With a gun at his hip, every man was a potential criminal. But a good peace officer like Wyatt Earp could usually tell who were the troublemakers. But sometimes appearances deceived even Wyatt. Howdy, Ed. Howdy, Wyatt. You come to meet the stage? No, I'm just making the rounds, talking to some of the boys. But maybe you heard about the shipment coming in. Oh, valuable? Five thousand. New silver dollars direct from the San Francisco Mint. I think I'll stick around. Here it comes now. Hey! Hey, it's running loose. Is still alive? Yeah, but he's hurt pretty bad. A couple of you men, get him over to Doc McCarty's, quick. Come on. Run, tell Miss Nancy. Miss Nancy? The school teacher? She and Billy Hanley are engaged to be married. Supposed to be a passenger. He's dead. They get it all. I can't figure why they'd do a thing like that. Just shoot down an innocent passenger. Yeah, he wasn't even wearing a gun. And why did Billy have the boxes inside instead of in the boot? They're heavy. Maybe too heavy to lift up there. Yeah. What do you think, Wyatt? There's no use wondering about him. Wait until we can talk to Billy. But if we can't, if Doc can't save him. We'll have to find out some other way. Marshal, how is he? He isn't... No, ma'am. No, the doc says he's got a good chance. Oh, can I see him? Well, I think we better wait until the doc comes out. He's in there with Billy now. Oh, yes, of course. D -d Does anyone know how, why it happened? No, why is easy. There was $5,000 on that stage. Oh, I knew something like this would happen. Doctor. Calm down, Miss Nancy. He's going to be as good as new. Oh, can I see him? Oh, only for a minute. We mustn't tire him. Well, I better go in first. You? Well, I got some questions I want to ask him that are important. That is, if you want me to catch you ever shot him. Oh, oh yes, of course, Marshal. But couldn't I go in with you? I, I wouldn't interfere with your questions, I assure you. And I, I could look at him. All right. Oh, Billy, darling. Don't. Careful, Miss Nancy. That wound's painful. Oh, I'm sorry, darling. Marshal. I'll make it brief, Billy. Did you see who did it? Yes. It was... three men. Did you recognize them? That's why they shot me. They were wearing masks. But one of them was... Esteban Marengo. How do you know for sure? He had an accent. He looked Mexican. Besides, I saw Esteban back at the relay station at Rock Springs. Him and two other men. They were the same men. There, Marshal. What more do you need? Billy, if they were wearing masks, how did they know you recognized them? Why did they shoot you and the passenger? Well, so as to take no chances, I guess. Where did they stop you? Sandy Crossing. Your horses ran loose all that way? I drove them part of the way. And I passed out, I guess. 
Marshal, do you have to ask all these questions? I'll talk to you later. Marshal, can I have my gun? Why? Oh, they tried to kill me once. Here? Oh, I don't think so, Billy. Billy, they'd never try it here. Besides, there's no need now. No need? The Marshal knows all you can tell him. They'd never try to kill you now. Oh, you have nothing to worry about. Dr. McCarty and I will stay here with you and take care of you while, while the Marshal goes out after the man who shot you. Who is he, Marshal? Esteban Marengo. He's a Mexican that's been around here for a while, working on freighters in and out of trouble. Well, he's in real trouble now. I have to catch him first. Buenos dias, senorita. Como esta? Bien. We're close here. Closed? Looks like I'm just in time for dinner. I did not expect customers. There's not enough. No. Where's the stage man? Quien sabe? The stage is not due until tomorrow. And you're all alone? Who's the other dinner for? It is none of your business, senor marshal. It might be. Now, do you know a man by the name of Esteban Morengo? Do you? No. Has he ever been here? How do I know if I don't know him? This afternoon when the stage came in, was there a Mexican man here? No. There's none here now. You always eat two plates of enchiladas? See, si, when I am hungry. Andale, andale, es la policía, vete. No, I do not go. Oh, por favor. Be quiet. I do not run away from the policía. Tell me, Senor Marshal, what do you want with me? I want to take you into Dodge City for some questioning. <laughs> I know about questioning. I don't know you take me to Dodge. You've been identified as one of three men who robbed a stage and killed a man. Who say this? Stage driver, Billy Hanley. He lies. See, he lies. Would I be here sitting down to eat if I robbed the stage? No, I'd be on my way to Mexico. There was times in your marshal when you was right to come for me. But this time, no, you do not arrest me. You make one move and I kill you. Were you here when the stage came through? See, si, why not? Were two other men here? Uh, Senor Cassidy and his brother. Sam Cassidy? He has a ranch near here. Yeah, I know. South. Senor Marshal, I tell the truth. I do not rob this stage. Billy lies. Well, maybe Billy made a mistake. What'd you do after the stage left? Nothing. See, si, you fix wagon for Senor Cassidy. Oh, see. Si. His axle was broke. Well, that must have taken a while, hmm? Maybe two, three hours. Esteban, you have an alibi. Now, are you willing to ride down to Cassidy's ranch with me and verify it? Si, but not to Dodge. No, not if it checks out. Come on. Billy, he's dead. We should have listened to him. He was scared. And there was something he wanted to do. I went out a few minutes and left him with Miss Nancy. They must have been watching outside that window. Oh, if only I turned around. I thought I heard something. Now, Miss Nancy, you mustn't blame yourself. You nearly got shot as it was. Bullet nicked the sleeve of her dress. She was sitting right close there beside him. I'm sorry, Miss Nancy. Oh, he tried to tell us. But I suppose you had no more reason to believe him than we did. I looked outside why I had no footprints. The ground's too hard, but I did find this little cartridge shell. 41 Derringer. It was a Derringer that killed the passenger, too. And got Billy the first time. Same gun, probably. Oh, Ma Marshal, you, you've got to get that man. He must be dangerous to do a thing so terrible. I never did like that, Esteban Marengo. It wasn't Esteban. He was with me when it happened. Then his confederates. He had no confederates. He had nothing to do with the robbery or this. No, either Billy was mistaken or... What? Or Billy sent me out there in a wild goose chase. Why? You, you can't think Billy had anything to do with the robbery. He might have. If he lied, he must have. 
You, you mean he sent you out there in a wild goose chase so he could be shot and killed? That's true, Wyatt. Well, that point's a puzzle. But suppose he had been double-crossed by his pals. He might still have hoped to get part of that loot somehow. You know he wasn't that kind of a man. No, why would Billy want a hold of a stagecoach? Well, he wasn't rich. He was about to get married. $5,000 would have set him up for life. How can you cast such a stigma on the memory of a dear dead boy who can't defend himself? Miss Nancy, a crime has been committed. I've got to get at the facts. Whatever they are, whoever they hurt. Now, they might implicate Billy, but on the other hand, they may clear him, too. I hope before you cast public suspicion on him, you get positive proof. That's my job, Miss Nancy. Howdy, Miss Nancy. Marshal. What are you doing out here? That's my usual way home from school. Well, then you've decided to stay here and dodge after all, huh? No, I couldn't. There are too many memories. I understand. Have you found anything out yet, Marshal? No. Didn't find anything at Sandy Crossing. Didn't even find a sign that the stage had stopped there. Maybe you were too hasty in eliminating the Mexican. No, I don't think so. You, uh... Come by here about the same time every afternoon? Yes. Sometime you see the stage? Yes, sometimes. You didn't see it the other afternoon? No, no. It was either a little early or a little late. I don't know which. Billy would always wave. And... I'm sorry. I have to ask questions because I don't have any clues. I'm up a blind alley. Yes, I'm sorry too, Marshal. <laughs> San Francisco. I tell you, Billy's record was perfect. I'd have trusted him with my life. Especially when he got engaged to Miss Nancy. She's perfect. <laughs> you sound like you were in love with her yourself. Well, every man in town is a little. She's such a sweet, pretty little thing. Like today, a pathetic thing. What? That package came for her on the stage from San Francisco. Got damaged a little and you can see what it is. New dress. Part of a wedding things, I suppose. Oh. Looks expensive, but since when do they start wearing black wedding dresses with spangles? Probably for parties when they went back east. Who knows? Anyways, I, I just can't bring myself to deliver it to her. Well, I'll take it to her. I want to ask her some questions anyway. About Billy? Yeah. Well, I'd be obliged to you if he would take it. But there's two dollars extra express charges due on it. You want to collect it? Well, I, uh... Well, never mind. I'll, I'll waive it. It's the least I can do for her. See you later. Marshal, come in. Thank you. There's one Billy left here. He was very proud of his whips. He made them himself. What brings you here, Marshal? Well, I, uh, this package came for you today from San Francisco. I have 
happened to be over at the Express Company. He was coming out here anyway. It's quite a fancy dress. It was intended for my trousseau. I won't need it now. Aren't you going to open it? Not right now. If it's damaged, the Express Company would like to know about it. I'll let them know if it is. I thought women were supposed to be curious. I'm not. Why are you? Well, that dress doesn't look much like uh, little Miss Nancy, school teacher. It wasn't intended to. It was for my honeymoon, for my husband. That's why I don't want to open it now. I'd like to know, Marshal, what it is you're thinking, what you're insinuating. Nothing, Miss Nancy. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. But you have. And I, I, I don't understand why. First you suspect Billy, and now, and now it seems me of what I don't know. It's only that I'm trying to find any kind of a clue. Anything that would seem strange. Well, I don't see how my buying a new dress, especially since it was bought weeks ago for my trousseau, could seem strange. No, I guess not. Now, please, go. Oh, wait. There's money due on this. I'll, I'll get it for you. It's not necessary. I always pay my debts. Here. I'm sorry. What? Right. You deliver it? Yeah. She took it pretty hard, huh? I was afraid she would. Well, I guess I uh, wasn't as diplomatic as I could have been. I wouldn't have been either. You asked for it. But thanks. Oh, wait a minute, Chief. <clears throat> Paid me the express due. Here. Hey, wait a minute. Let me see that. These are shiny new. Yeah. They're dated this year. They must have been put in circulation just in the last couple of weeks. Why? It, this is part of the loot? It must be. But how did Miss Nancy come to have them? That's what I'd like to know. She must have gotten them from the robbers somehow. Either that or she and Billy. Oh, Wyatt, I can't believe that. But it's possible. Well, that would mean that she killed Billy. Well, she could have. She could have gone outside, shot him through the window, come back inside before the doc got there. But the, the, the bullet tear in her sleeve. Well, she could have done that herself. We didn't look at it too closely, you know. Oh, Wyatt. It's also possible that she came by these coins honestly. It's been three days since the holdup. Yeah. It's possible, but I'm going to have to find out. I didn't know you were in the habit of breaking in on a lady's privacy. I see you changed your mind about wearing the dress. Yes. How do I look? Well, different anyway. More like I belong south of the deadline in one of those dance halls? Go on, Marshal. You can say yes. I won't be insulted. I'll be complimented. Because I'm a woman, just like them. And I like everything about being a woman. And I'm sick to death of playing the prim little paragon of virtue. Do you know what it's like to be a school teacher? Why don't you say something? Aren't you shocked? No. I'm just surprised that you forgot Billy so soon. This has nothing to do with Billy. 
You said yourself no woman can resist a new dress. Well, that's not the kind of a dress that a husband usually approves of, even on a honeymoon. Of course, maybe you never even planned to go on a honeymoon. What do you mean? You gave me this uh, a little while ago. It's brand new, shiny. Where'd you get it? I don't know. Why? Because it's part of the money that was stolen off the stage. How do you know that? I know. That's enough. Now, where'd you get it? Well, of course, I, I, I got it from the collection. The, the, the collection they took up to help with Billy's funeral expenses. Now, I'll tell you a story. You and Billy planned that hold up together. You met him out there on the road with your buckboard. And Billy pulled the stage up. One of you killed the passenger before he knew what was happening, so he couldn't identify you. Billy helped transfer the money over to the buckboard. Then you had no more use for Billy. If he had shot straight, he might never have been found out. You're mad. Don't you think Billy would have told you in the doctor's office if I'd shot him? He was almost scared enough. But he must have had a reason not to. Maybe he thought he still might get part of the loot. Or maybe he was really in love with you. Wouldn't have turned you in. It meant his death. At any rate, it did mean his death. I suppose I did that? Yes. You acted loving and remorseful until he was low to sleep. And then you went outside and shot him through the window and came back before the doctor. Oh, it's preposterous. Well, like I say, it's just a story. Now, which one do you want to believe? You could never prove yours in a million years. I could if I could find 5,000 more of these around your house here someplace. I think I can. Because I don't think you ever thought that you'd ever be under suspicion. Why, look at me. Am I pretty? Well, am I? Yes. Listen to me, Wyatt. I never loved Billy. He was just a kid. But you're a man, and I've always admired you. If your story was true, if I did have that money, you and I could go a long way together. Go back east, Europe, maybe. We'd have a lot of fun. Could be heaven, why? Miss Nancy, you already have a date with the jury. I think we better go. In this dress? Does it matter? Yes. Do you think I'd stand a chance with your good folks if they saw me in this? Let me change. But don't try to get away. You wouldn't make it. I won't. Don't worry. Don't turn around yet. A derringer? Yes, the same one. Now put your hands up, please. It's kind of stupid of me to forget about it, wasn't it? It was careless. You gave me my life, and I appreciate it. I'm sorry I can't return the favor. I know you're very good with a gun, but mine's out, and you know I can use it. Yes, I know. So don't try to draw. Just turn around, slowly. Well, aren't you going to shoot me in the back? wouldn't fit in with my story. And what will your story be? That I was about to retire. Heard an intruder. Shot before I saw it was you. No one will suspect, dear Miss Nancy. Everyone will sympathize. You're quite an actress, aren't you? I'll have to be a little while longer, but then I'll be gone with the money. And I won't have to pretend ever again. Now turn around slowly and keep your hands up. You! I'm you. sorry. I hate to hurt a lady. Now, come on. Why, please! Look, if you wanted excitement and fun, you should have stuck to school teacher. It's a lot more exciting than where you're going to have to go. Prison. Come on. Well, 
he cleaned up the country, the old wild west country. He made law and order prevail. And none can deny it, the legend of Wyatt forever will live on the trail. Oh. 